I don't have a computer. I don't want to give them on anymore. Oh, I see. Uh, here's where you're going to Okay, I appreciate you talking to me. The very screen silent, anything you say can will be used against you in the law. The very right to hire an attorney, you have the trouble that you fired being questioned. You cannot afford to hire an attorney to hire your subject on the table. You also have the right to stop any questioning during the interview if it's so choose. So you decide at any time to exercise the advice and, answer, and not answer any questions. So, do you understand your Miranda rights? Yeah. Understand your Miranda rights? Do you still want to talk to me? Couple minutes. Okay, couple minutes. What happened yesterday? What's going on? Uh, I wanted to investigate the point I wanted. Came to me at 1210. Told me I've been uh, approved to move to 1D. I don't want to move. This is the end of subject then. Okay. Why are you waiting over two hours then? I mean, two pedals that Ken Johansson and Tracy uh, Nyes is coming by you to come walk forward to me without no guard time. Try to ride. Look, try to ask me who I want for a roommate. Tell me I can have any roommate I want. I said, I don't want a roommate. So even if I said over and over. Mm -hmm. That was two hours after you already told. Yeah, it was a BDR. It said, uh, I felt that the flag refused to move to the unit. You know, the unit staff and clinical staff talking to this client multiple times throughout the day. That's just a bunch of BS. It came at 12 10, I walked with James Murphy, you look at the camera. Mm -hmm. All unit, you see, when you were in the mop, I was there and that's just said, Crick, you've been approved to move to 1D. This is the same thing, or if you didn't need a director, I said, no, I don't want to move. That's right. it. And it's something. And it never came up again until? Yeah, I don't know why it's telling them the same thing. Mm -hmm. Our clients has told them the same thing. No, I'm not moving. They, they get dropped it and they didn't right. pursue it. Okay. Two hours later, you get those two people step from, you know, I told them all I have to live in an address at Edgar. Right, you didn't want a roommate. So you decided to move. They called the ICF. No, and they said, well, you, you don't move her to go keep you in HSA indefinitely. Back here. Mm How -hmm. does that apply to me? It didn't apply to anyone else in my unit. Mother guys didn't pull the move before it's gone, not moving. Okay, and it's up, they didn't get a DVR over it. Why is my situation different than anyone else? I told them, hey, mm -hmm. what do I got to do? Bring me our window. I wrote right here in the report. Pick me to say, what do I got to do? Throw it in our chair. I never threw a chair to begin with, so it'll be, that's a, that's a, an average statement, what do I throw in our chair? I told them, what do I do? Bring it in our window. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be my like clinical staff. They're supposed to sit down and, and counsel me and say, Well, Mr. Craig, you're not supposed to break a window or not. Who did you tell that to? Ken Johansson and Tracy Denise. Okay. They gave me a question mark and they asked me a question. So they're supposed to move me over there. So that's the fact that they know I'm not going to take a roommate. Mm -hmm. They know I'm not going to sit back here to move them to a fight with a roommate. You've got to run these stories up something so you go in here for 24 hours. And you get your legal papers back in the mm -hmm. DVU. Mm -hmm. You don't get no legal papers back here. Right. They just put it in the AR plan. No legal, no property back here. Uh -huh. So, I wasn't there, so I don't know what, if your situation was different than the other guys. I, I'm not really sure how that all went down because I wasn't there. I've just been reading the report. So, but it sounds like you left Omega, which is where all this transpired, and then you went to Unit 1D. Yeah, broke the windows. Like I told them, I was in 45 over there. The road right of the court is only 50 minutes time frame to be hours. Uh, 2.25 okay. broke the window at uh, 3.20 or whatever. Okay. It's an hour since the transfer date broke the window. He broke the window just to get back over to Omega. Yeah, I told them I was going to do that right here for the BR. Okay. What do I got to do? They were going to throw in our chair. I had to do a chair in the first time. Okay. okay, so it was pretty much like the incident I investigated before. Same thing, I told him I was not living in the other danger. I wrote another air, and the same thing I wrote the other one. Okay. AR or deal. It's just right here. Right. But you didn't have any other intentions when you wrote the window. It was just to go up. You weren't trying to get yeah, it outside or anything like that. You were trying to get it. No, the court here looked like this. Push the door and the carriage opened the door for me. Right. Joe Lee was walking around outside. Okay. So why was you the door locked outside? I wanted to go out of the main yard. You're not trying to get to the OC, though. You don't want to pick up a, a criminal charge to go to the DOC. Well, I guess I don't know right here that the thing. It says, uh, 
Because that can cause you know, about another one of these four and twenty seven to eight days is over the same behavior in argument. So I hear it says uh seems like the state of Minnesota or orchestrated that repeat of behavior to give you another chance at me. He did not he could prosecute you for the first one though. No prosecution, no they got thirteen days punishment, no restitution. I told the staff what do you want me to do? Go break in our window. Mm-hmm. They they didn't answer me, so their their order of action was yes, Chris, you didn't go break in our window to get the opportunity to come back here. He didn't feel like you had any other options. No, it was in traffic. I put down in traffic two or three times. Okay. And the AR fuel for it. Same as I wrote the first time. So you guys trying to get their 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 chance at me. I'm not gonna change my behavior. You're not gonna double bump me in a threat of anger. Just to say so you can save money. You can't you're not saving no money right now. You just want to stay on my desk. Or just somewhere where you got single room. Yeah, I'm always gonna be able to stay back here. Yeah, if I want to stay back here, I want to broke the window. Oh, you want to stay back in this place? They told me to raise the James Master to talk about that. Yeah. I asked last night, what's the big idea to put it next to him? Well, we're trying to fill this line first today. He's got the whole other line of empty. He put me next to the medication. I don't have anything to do with work with you. I'll see what I can do. My, my, I just came to find out what happened yesterday. He didn't look at criminal charges, so we'll just see what's in there. I don't need to talk to him to say, what the hell? You're going to tell the guy you've got to live with a single cell. He tells you you're going to break the window. You say, go ahead and break it. That's what they said. They, I'm glad they wrote this report on it. He's probably back there. They mentioned, I repeatedly mm-hmm. told him, he's great church. He's been that full of trees and giants and our kids. So I had to go to the break the window. They didn't make this until all this happened. Did they respond when you told them that? No, they didn't look at it. They're supposed to be careful. They know I did this behavior before. It's their own thinking office window. I stopped them to go break in our window. They don't do nothing about it. They didn't even say anything. No, they didn't. They put it out as a question mark. They also they put all the time stated and closed the half of the door. Off the door, what are you doing? Are you scared? It's a question. Mm-hmm. I walked as far as the staff office. She sneezes right back there. She broke the bottom half of the French door. Mm-hmm. I asked the question, what are you doing? You're scared. That's not threat. That's a question. Those are both questions. But you know, I saw that part of the report. It just, there's some pieces in there that I didn't read, so. There were two questions. So you asked the question, I forgot. How is that a threat of the state, right? Like, I want to fucking shoot. Right. That's a threat, right? Yeah. No, you're walking through the court order. Yeah, I'm not here. I'm not worried about the incident on Omega. My the criminal investigation is really just the destruction of the property. What led up to it is going to be your argument, and he didn't get any hint of it anywhere. And I don't even know why. Well, there was a core relationship between those two problems core by you to try to pull it below you again. I don't know why there was a two hour delay. Well, I'm like Darian talking to someone when it's okay. Yeah, Darian mentioned that you've been approved to go to 1D. I, I don't want to move. That's okay. all. I'm getting the conversation. Okay, I'll talk to Darian if I don't do it. Yeah, we got it out. You and Steph, Stephanie Jackson, they were arguing with Terry Martin before that was, was more of a step you want to do so. Terry said, no, we're not going to make a man. Remember, push the key back a little. I don't want to push my button to do something. Terry Martin said, no, we're not going to. Is that what going on? Yeah, she wanted to stir us by poke, poking the stickers off. Do some fucking shit and fire us and use a big crystal arm. They're arguing in the office. They're going to swear at it. Alright. You aren't trying to hurt anybody in the interview? No, I don't know what they're doing. If I want to hurt someone, I would have been at the person, not a window. Okay, I'm just making sure. Give me your card. I can't. Give me your business card. I'll break it down with them. It's okay, that's that. All right, we'll go off our canal. It is 11.25. Thanks. Have a good day. That's probably too long.